Greetings and welcome back to yet another episode of the Daily Run and today we're playing as Kane. This daily was very unique in the fact that it wasn't very unique and let me explain that. So usually what happens on daily runs or just any Isaac runs in general, if two people play the same run they're gonna end up having vastly different runs in the end, different items, different results or maybe even different paths that they take to achieve victory. And I think that's a very good thing and inherent to Isaac because even if you get two of the same runs in a row there's actually very little chance that even if you play it the same you're gonna end up having a very different run and I think that's very apparent as soon as you do a daily run and if you ever did a practice run even though you, you think you remember what went on something still ends up being different and it can have a big difference sometimes and I think that's very inherent like I said just to the nature of Isaac that those little decisions make up or can have a big effect in the end and I think that's that that's a lot that's very frustrating for a lot of players obviously because those little decisions can end up just being based down on luck and not really up to skill so let's say that the player who knows something about a game knows that you need to have at least five cents if you want to have a chance of the arcade spawning and obviously if the arcade spawns then you can get maybe some other items or consumables and maybe that way you can break the game and that way you can get really really powerful and if someone doesn't know that um, then then obviously they're at a disadvantage and I think that that is healthy because that does promote knowledge and skill in the game that uh, re really requires that in order if you want to be successful but what can happen sometimes just because of how the game works someone might not end up finding five cents and someone might and maybe if they both know that this strategy works or maybe that this needs to happen you need to have five cents if you want the arcade to spawn the, the person who luckily bumped a rock that the other person didn't, maybe they found a crawl space and then they found five cents in, in, in it, can lead to a lot of frustration because basically that player just resounded to luck in order to get the, the arcade and they break the game. And that's, like I said, that's a very frustrating thing for basically any player who's playing any competitive game, basically. Just if something lucky happens to a person based and not, it's not up to their knowledge or skill, then it, it's considered cheap and I understand where that notion is coming from but at the same time I think it's very vital to the game of Isaac that certain things can happen because after all this is not meant to be really a competitive game the competitive aspect got added later just as an afterthought and I really enjoy daily runs and I really enjoy the variance as well and especially since I've been treating daily runs just as ordinary runs where I try to do my best Sure, certain items become a bit more valuable just because of how daily runs work, something like the shovel, the IV bag, but at the same time it's still a healthy competition in my opinion just because you do focus on those things that eventually make your run better and as you maybe try to get a better score you get better as a player and I find that process very rewarding and a lot of people maybe don't just because like I said it is reliant on luck. But what does bother me, maybe it doesn't bother me, but what do I find? What I do find very unhealthy in this semi-competitive environment is when it just boils down to one thing. So what happened in our, on our second floor we got the D100 and when you get the D100 that's basically a game over for any daily run and even if you're playing an ordinary run you know that when you get the D100 or basically any item that lets you reroll your run weird things can happen and by weird things I mean just eventually you're gonna end up rerolling yourself 50 times and one of those runs is eventually going to be very strong like so strong that you're just gonna enter a room and just kill everything on site and when that happens on a daily run it becomes a very unhealthy just because all of the strategy and the knowledge just gets reduced to you pressing the spacebar button as soon as you can until eventually you get a very strong run that you can just mob the enemies with and I don't think that's that, that's a good way to go about it just because it, you do have the, those infinite uses and just due to chance and luck and combinations one of those combinations is gonna be end up very strong and, and I commend people who didn't take the D100 just because it is an item that I think is very unhealthy for the competitive aspect of the game I'm not saying remove it obviously because I think the D100 is a, an excellent item but I think in, in dailies the reroll the reroll items should only have one use and I say that because there's still that way you still have that wild aspect to it but there's also a sense of strategy to it so maybe if you have a weak run you decide to reroll and then something cool happens or maybe if you have a strong run but may maybe you're lacking consumables maybe you decide to reroll just in hopes of getting an item that maybe gives you more bombs or something like that and I think that would promote a healthier aspect of the game than just basically having D100 and re-rolling because what happens when you get such an item very early on if you want to stay competitive and if you want to stay in a good shape so basically every good score will rely on having the D100 and just re-rolling yourself just a bunch of amount of times 
you really need to do it if you want to stay competitive. And to people who don't enjoy maybe that aspect of the game, that's very punishing for them. And I know what you might say. Okay, so if you don't enjoy that aspect of the game, they don't play dailies, you know. Dailies are all about trying to be optimal and having the most score. And I'm not saying you're wrong. Obviously, you have to adapt to the nature of the game that you're playing. And in dailies, obviously, that's a very different thing indeed. And sometimes you do have to do things that are unenjoyable if you want to get a higher score. But at the same time, should really should, should we really resort to something like this? And then again, you might ask, okay, how is that different to maybe just hoping for a blank card in Yera? Because if you find that combo, you can't let it go. And a lot of people don't enjoy duplicating. And that's a very fair point you make. But I think that when you have a blank card plus Yera combo, that's a very inherent combo of items that work well for other reasons than the D100 works. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that D100 is simply one item, which has no strategy to it. And even when you have a blank card plus Sierra rune, if you want, of course, to abuse it to get a high score, you still have to do at least some thinking in beyond, because if you just start rerolling or maybe duplicating things, you're gonna end up in a very bad position. But as soon as you start rerolling, there's really no bad way to, to go about it. I'm not saying that margin of error is very big with Yara and Blank Card, obviously. I still think it's a very broken combo, and I think that there should be a lower limit for consumables in daily rounds, just because those breaking rounds do end up being very tedious to play for the players, <laughs> and it sucks that you have to rely and maybe do those tedious things if you want to stay competitive. But again, that is the nature of competition to some extent. But I think being forced to use a, an item that inherently rerolls your run, that basically makes you lose everything that you have just in order to stay competitive is just not a fun thing. So let's say in this exact run we had the Mega Blast, and obviously a lot of people do enjoy using the Mega Blast. That's why I picked it up. I didn't rely on the D100. And the Mega Blast item is just not maybe... It's not a very good item, to be honest, because it ends up getting you hit most often than not. If there's any room with spikes, and if you maybe try to navigate through it, you're gonna get hit no matter what. And it just isn't that useful. So sure, you know, it looks very cool. It's obviously a very novel item just because of how rare it is and because of its effect. But at the same time, it's just not an item that you would say, okay, you pick it up and you insta-win the run. There's still a lot of finagling you have to do if you want to stay competitive. But at the same time, because I got this opportunity to pick up Mega Blast, if I just stuck with the D100, I, I am severely penalized for picking up an item that is, in my opinion, a lot more fun to use than the, the, than the D100 is. And obviously you're saying, you know, if you want to be competitive, then you're not going to take Mega Blast because it's going to end up damaging you eventually, as you say, and what's the point in, in basically competing if you know that you're going to take a suboptimal item? Uh, still, again, I'm trying to reiterate that, you know, if you really want to stay competitive, sure, you know, you're going to adapt to your surroundings. You're going to use the D100 even if you don't like it. You're going to use the Blank Art Logera even if you don't like it. You're going to spend 10 minutes playing the arcade just to get the score you need in order to, to really get to the top leaderboards. But I think that a combo or just one item showing up in the second floor which basically leaves no room for play is just a bad design. Like I said, I would like it if uh, basically every reroll item would only be usable once in dailies. And I think that would be a rather elegant solution, just because it still provides you with the skill aspect of the game and the knowledge aspect of the game, while not really taking away the novelty of being able to reroll your run. Or maybe if there was any other way to do it, I'm sure that there is. I mean, just, this, is, this is just an idea from the top of my head. And I, I really, like I said, dislike that that the runs basically turn so one-dimensional whenever certain items show up. And I think that's not just a problem with reroll items. I think that's also a problem with the blank card and the IV bag and things like that. Maybe the IV bag is not such a big offender, but the blank card definitely is. And, and I feel like there should be a way to mitigate that somehow, or maybe just to let people who didn't go that route stay competitive. Like in my, in my case, even though I went the Mega Blast route, the run just wasn't very strong from that point on. And I was at a very severe disadvantage. And like I said, this is the, the consequence you're willing to take if you don't take the run or maybe the item that you know is optimal. Uh, but at the same time, it does feel bad to be penalized for something, for, for basically ta taking the more fun route. And th the problem is, it's not even the fun route. Obviously, if there was like a soy milk and I would take it, which is something that's an objectively bad item, you, you could say, okay, you know you screwed yourself, but I took Mega Blast, you know, Mega Blast is not a necessarily bad item, it's supposed to be one of the strongest items in the game, so why should 
I be penalized when I have the strongest item in the game when this happens? Well, I think all of this is summed up very greatly with how this run ended. You can see that I re re revived myself as Dark Judas on the last floor, kind of foolishly going from 10 health to only 2, but I was feeling confident, I was feeling a bit silly, so that's why I decided to do it. And you can see I'm just trying to find the second secret room here, and as soon as I entered the room below me, the game crashed. Which is just unprecedented. <laughs> This is this not, not this never happened to me before. I don't think I've ever encountered a crash in game. Sure, sometimes when you start a daily run, the game doesn't register as you're starting and then you just get zero score, but it never happened that the game actually crashed on me. So the fact that this happened today was kinda unlucky in the sense, but also lucky in the sense, just because of how much I disliked this run, or maybe I didn't dislike the run, I disliked the concept of this run. And it's just a very big irony, in my opinion, or maybe just a coincidence. So, so yeah, I, I, I hope that you see, uh, maybe this is the game trying to tell me something. Uh, either way, I hope you enjoyed my little rant. It was just more about the state of the dailies than the actual run, just because, like I said, th this run didn't have any meaning to it, it didn't have any weight to it, there were really no strategies involved. If I went D100, I would just keep it rolling until eventually I got a good run. But if I stick with the Mega Blast route, it's just basically me using the Mega Blast as soon as possible on every floor. Thankfully, there is some skill involved in using the Mega Blast, so maybe I could talk about that. But I feel like I've had Mega Blast a lot and I've talked about it too much. So this was just maybe my my daily to just get it out there and just say my two cents on the matter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.